With Shadowlands around the corner, a lot of people have started getting back into the game and uh, some people are trying out new specs for Arena PvP. And I wanted to give you an overview about what I've been playing, which is uh, Discipline Priest for the past few weeks. A lot of games, 2v2 games with uh, some of my views on my stream and uh, I'm enjoying this Priest a lot. It's pretty versatile, you can play it basically with every spec right now. You have a lot of carrying potential because you have a lot of damage and uh, also one of the best CCs in the game with uh, mind control. So um, this is going to be something like a real quick version of a guide so um, you guys can just jump into the game right away. It's focused on PvP and arena and um, I'll be going over the different things you'll need. And um, I also have a short guide which is just a short image guide in the description. If you don't want to hear me talking for whatever many minutes, you can just click that version, get everything, put everything together and you're good to go. The video version will give you some insight, especially when you would pick some talents or when to use a specific item. And uh, if you don't need that and you just want to get into PvP Arena, you, you can use the link in the description. All right, let's start off with the basics. So Discipline Priest is different than most other healers in that it needs to deal damage in order to heal as well because uh, this priest has one a passive that's called atonement which puts a percentage of all your damage back into your teammates health so basically how it works is you apply atonement through three different different abilities one is through uh, powered shield powered radiance or shadowment and once you've applied atonement, every damage you deal will heal your teammates with the atonement buff up. So what you want to do is keep atonement up 100% of the time. After that, you want to use uh, your power word Solace off cooldown. You want to have a Perch of the Wicked up on as many targets as you can. Also put the dots on pets, also put the dots on Shadow Fiends, everything you can dot basically unless you want to CC it. So if you are going to CC the healer, for instance, after the CC chain, let's say in Polymorph into a fear, after the CC chain, you reapply your dots right away as fast as you can. Uh, concentrated Flame, huge damage right now. You definitely need that one as well. Um, once you your Penance is on cooldown, your Powered Solace is on cooldown, everyone is uh, purged the Wicked up and you have atonements on the targets that are taking damage on your team, you just try to spam smites as much as you can and use Mind Blast on cooldown as well. Also an important thing about Shadow Priest, uh, this Priest is the fact that you have to use stuff preemptively because you can't fall behind as well because you don't have really catch up mechanics or 100% mitigators like bubble or something like that. So most of the time you want to use your barrier before the damage comes in or the CC on you, you want to use pain suppression before the damage comes in. And uh, you also want to use um, your Rapture preemptively. So when you know the damage is coming, you preemptively put on the shields on everyone and then uh, you're good to go. All right, let's get into gearing. So gear right now is super important because they've actually removed the scaling. So you have to have gear in order to be able to be competitive. The minimum item level I would say you want to get into arena is 115. If you want to be somewhat competitive, you want to push like 2.2, 2.4, I think 125 is the minimum. My item level is super low and um, compared to everyone else, most people are 128, 130 right now that have been playing uh, before pre-pitch. So yeah, um, you want to get 115 at least. The only way to get that, sadly, is still through dungeons and uh, the weekly chests because Blizzard has yet to implement the catch-up mechanic and uh, with only three and a half or four weeks left till the expansion, I kind of doubt it will actually put in, get put into the game, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, secondary stats are less valuable now because uh, the way the scaling works now and... Um, you don't have corruptions anymore that can boost your secondary stats but uh, you still want to focus on getting as much haste and versatility as you can versatility being the primary primary uh, secondary stat that sounds kind of weird and um, 
if you have to choose between a secondary stat and eye level though i would probably go for eye level right now eye level has way bigger impact it feels like and um i would definitely prioritize eye level so um for gems right now you since versa gems have been nerfed or secondary stat gems in general you probably want to go with intelligent gems i don't have them because i'm lazy but if you want to be you know optimally geared you probably want to go for in gems for your azurite traits uh, this is the depth of the shadows is the most important one it gives you a huge healing burst this is this result lacking the catch-up mechanic and that helps you catching up if uh, one of your teammates or yourself getting uh, below a certain threshold and then get three of those you can get death throws if you are not able to get heart of darkness um, this is you can get this from regular PvP gear as well. Heart of Darkness. Most of the time, you only get from raid, and a lot of I don't think a lot of people want to do raid right now. So go with this one. This is your Shadow Priest specialization, so you have to respec in order to uh, activate this. Get three of these if you can on my way because it gives versatility. Versatility is really good because you know disc priests get versatility. They triple dip basically. They get the defensive. They get the offensive and the healing, and also through offensive they get more healing. So. Get one of these, Death Denied, and uh, the rest you can put on Resounding Protection or Impassive Visage, and uh, you should be good to go. For your Essences, I go Crucible Major 100% of the time. It's just amazing damage right now. If you don't want to go Major, definitely 100% go Minor with it, because uh, it's kind of... The scaling is really wonky on it right now, so it has like 10 to 20% of my overall damage, sometimes even 30%. Uh, the Dot itself... Um, the flame itself doesn't do so much damage, but the dot is just crazy, the dot it applies. You 100% need Spirit of Preservation Major, because it's similar to the Ezra Trites we, we were just talking about. It gives you a catch-up mechanic, because um, you have a stack, you have a stack, stacking up uh, heal buff, which uh, you can just blow on one heal, and you have a huge Shadow Wind, Shadow Word, uh, Shadow Mend after a while vitality conduit still pretty strong in healing use that uh, as a minor as well if you're playing against dot classes you might want to remove it because uh, it kind of could hurt you and conflict and strive for the additional versatility always good keep that as well you can use uh, vitality major then you would just swap these two out and this is my basic setup i just play this 100 percent of the time all right lastly let's go over talents real quick I'm playing Castigation 100% of the time. You can play a Twist of Fate um, if you need the additional catch-up. And you can play Schism if you're 100% sure that you get casts off. But most of the time, there's so many abilities you can use right now that Schism is kind of hard to fit in. Um, Body and Soul, most of the time, almost all, of, all the time, uh, you can do uh, Go Mesochism if you know that you're being trained. And you have a tough time healing yourself, you can use this. Uh, Powered Solace 100% of the time. You can go Mind Bender, but I right now wouldn't recommend it because it's an additional global once every 60 seconds and it's less healing than Powered Solace if you can like have a solid uptime on, on cooldown using it on cooldown. I use Psychic Voice 90% of the time unless I'm playing against uh, some sort of melee like a warrior, for instance, uh, where I can make sure that he doesn't connect to me. Like if I have uh, a teammate that can peel for me and I see he used his charge, I can use Shining Force, go behind a pillar and make sure he doesn't reconnect on me. So you can play this. Also good on map where you have uh, ZX issues like a bridge map or uh, the other one where I'm basically standing here right now. Sins of the many, 100% of the time, never changed this. It's... Uh, like best in slot, uh, it just increases your damage basically uh, for each target you have atonement on. This is even worth it with uh, only two targets having atonement on. Perch of the Wicked, 100%. It's uh, big damage um, and it also helps you to spread Perch of the Wicked on pets easier. Lenience, 100%. It's just 3%. Uh, damage reduction, everything else doesn't even close to compare. Come close to compare. Uh, PvP talents. I play Trinity 100% of the time. Dark Archangel is... Uh, I play this most of the time. Dome of Light also most of the time. Unless there's uh, a knock in the game. 
So, for instance, against Windwalker or Mistweaver, I don't play this because it's very unreliable cooldown. You can swap out Dark Arc or Dome of Light for, for instance, Purification against Warlocks or Shadow Priests. You want to have the double dispel. Although right now dispelling a Fleet Warlocks is very punishing. So um, keep that in mind. You'll lose a lot of health and sometimes it's not even worth dispelling the, the dots but instead heal through it. So Purification also good against Mages so you can stay more offensive and have the double dispel on the sheep for your DPS so he is not stuck in sheeps on their goes. Uh, another one you can go is Ultimate Radiance. I almost always go this against Sub Rogues because it works through um, dual. You can just target yourself, use, ultimate ra uh, use Radiance with the talent up and you heal your teammate while he, is, uh, he or she is in dual, which is great. You can go Dar uh, Arch Archangel as well against something like a Demon Hunter. We need the extra healing, the extra oomph. You probably want to combine Ultimate Radiance with Archangel then as well. So you have like the best throughput you can have. Keep in mind though, Ultimate Radiance is very mana hungry and you will go oomph pretty quickly. Another one you can go with is Thought Steel, which is amazing against mages, probably uh, one of the best talents you can use against mages but keep in mind this probably is only good in against uh, in threes because in 2v2 two two situations this it's almost all night most of the time they're gonna go with the sub rogue we're gonna play with the sub, sub rogue at least the ones once i've met and then uh, if you're playing double dps twos you probably want this setup instead of thought steel but if they're not playing with the rogue or double dps and if they are um, or in threes you want to go thought steel because it's just defensively amazing offensively amazing and it's a reasonable cooldown but um yeah just keep these things in mind uh also you can just we have shadow word death now back on baseline so against uh polymorphs you don't necessarily need this since you're able to just uh share with death the polymorph that is incoming and um uh, so that's basically the cookie cutter guide. There's a lot of more detailed stuff we could talk about, but for now I think this is like the best uh, version that you'll need to get started in Arena and get into the game. If you want to see more, you can uh, come on my Twitch stream. Check it out. I'm going to be streaming almost daily. You can check out a lot of this priest uh, gameplay there. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or in Twitch chat. I'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow and also lets me see what stuff is interesting to you and figure out what to do next. So uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the arena.